In tonight's Veterans Voices, for more than a decade, Army Sergeant Nicholas Moore fought on the edge of the global war on terror. He was part of an elite special operations unit that saw hundreds of firefights and took part in some of the most high-profile rescues. Nick and his elite unit did what was asked without question, without fear, and usually without failure. I'm lucky that I got to serve where I did for as long as I did. I got to work with some of the greatest Americans that you can gather from coast to coast. I have a lot of respect for those guys and what we did and what they're still doing today. Sergeant First Class Nick Moore spent 14 years in the Army. He was deployed 13 times and spent 54 months in Iraq and Afghanistan. I'm proud to have been a part of it for as long as I got to be a part of it. He was the squad leader of the 275 Rangers. Nick estimates that he's been engaged in more than 1,000 firefights. He's also been part of several notable missions. Participated in the Jessica Lynch rescue, participated in the uh, Marksville Luttrell recovery, and then I was on the ground the night that Extortion 17 was shot down. Marcus Luttrell is the Navy SEAL played by Mark Wahlberg in the movie Lone Survivor. I think we're about fixing to get into a pretty good gunfight. The movie is based on Operation Red Wings, where Luttrell's SEAL team was overrun by Al Qaeda. I think we can take them back, but we're going to need a new spot. It was Nick's unit that was on the ground to rescue Luttrell. But he says the scene was slightly different from what you saw in the movie. It's accurate all the way until the end. There was no big gunfight. When we got a hold of Marcus, it was kind of a lazy day in Afghanistan. In 2011, Nick once again came under fire. Got a gunshot wound through the right leg, one through the right arm, and then I took one through the right side of the helmet. Nick was medically retired in 2013 and received a Purple Heart. He's also been awarded two bronze stars. And there was one more honor that came last week during game three of the World Series at Dodger Stadium. Sergeant First Class Moore, the Dodgers thank you for your service. I'm completely shocked. It's like winning the lottery. Nick may be a hero to everyone on the outside, but he's still as humble as ever on the inside. I'm just an average person that I didn't do anything special. I just happened to be in the wrong place at the right time. And if you want to hear more of Nick's incredible stories, just check out his book, Run to, Sound, Run to the Sound of the Guns. That comes out on November 13th. And if you are a veteran or you know of a veteran that has an interesting story or needs help, we want to hear from you. Please email us at veteransvoices at cbs.com or check out our website, cbsla.com.